In my last video, I was sharing in response to a question about the diaphragm, and I was sharing about how the diaphragm has nothing to do with the power, strength, volume of your voice. And I mentioned how something that has more of an effect on the volume of the voice is the thickness of the vocal folds themselves, or the vocal cords, you might have heard them called. And I got a really great question on Instagram on that video, which was, is the vocal fold thickness something that is fixed for life or can we change it? Does it change? So it's a really great question. And I'm guessing that the question comes from a place of feeling like often people are concerned that the voice that they have, the voice, the vocal ability that they currently have is the voice that they're stuck with. They're just made like that and that's just the way it is and it's never gonna change, which is probably not the case. So vocal fold thickness, just like many other aspects of the vocal mechanisms, is something that we can control and change at will. So uh, in simple terms, the vocal folds or vocal cords have muscle in them. <clears throat> and just like other muscles of the body, when we contract that muscle, when we work that muscle, this is just my excuse to show up for my sweet guns, obviously, when we contract that muscle, the muscle gets thicker. It gets shorter and it gets thicker, right? And when I release that, the effort in that muscle, it gets longer and thinner. Uh, and there are other things that we can do to affect the thickness of the vocal fold, including tilting the thyroid cartilage. So here is a paper version of the larynx. This comes from Estill Voice International. Um, mine's a little bit broken and sad. I need a new one. My epiglottis keeps falling off. Uh, but you can see the blue elastics in there, which represent the vocal folds. So, <clears throat> The thyroid cartilage is the main cartilage on the front of the larynx and the vocal folds attached to that cartilage on the inside there. So when we tilt the thyroid cartilage, that tilts forward like that, the vocal folds get stretched longer and thinner. So the thickness of the vocal folds in simple terms reflects the volume of the voice. The thicker the fold, the louder the sound. And that's because when they're thicker, the vibration, which kind of looks like this, it's called the mucosal wave, uh, when they're thicker, they're going to spend longer closed when they're doing this, right? If they're thinner, not as much surface area touching, there's not going to be as long of a closed phase. So when they're closed for longer, the air pressure has more time to build up underneath. So the puffs of air that are getting let out are bigger. And the puffs of air being bigger means the sound waves are bigger, means the volume is louder. So, to show you what that actually sounds like in my voice, if I'm going to go from just like a thick-ish to thicker and like thin it out, so playing with the thickness of the vocal folds just in terms of like how hard I'm working the muscle, so starting with like really thick, So what I'm doing there is just varying how hard I'm working the vocal muscle. So basically when I go louder, the vocal muscle is getting thicker. And when I go softer, it's releasing some of that effort and it's getting thinner. Now I can also tilt the thyroid cartilage to add more of that thinness. And if I want to go fully full tilt, uh, it gets very, very thin and often brings in that vibrato sound that you can hear. So. Uh, thank you for the great question and let me know if you have any questions about anything I said here. Obviously explaining anatomical stuff in a four minute video uh, is going to be a really shallow level of explanation. Um, but just know that if, you're, if you feel like you have a quiet or weak voice, that's not something that you're just stuck with. Um, there are many things that you can do to increase the strength and volume of your voice and you can learn how to control those mechanisms.